to watch the what is it? 1.5 live stream, live stream Honkai Star Rail version 1.5. The Crappus Crappus Kill. Ooh, the Crappus Kill Zone. Oh, we're there, guys. It's starting. Oh. <laughs> I hope the audio is okay. Oh, the trip, please. Ah, I see. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, the finest hand picked, well tied spring meets the chewiest brown sugar bobo on the block. Bursting with L carnitine, flavor, and health. Oh, that looks. Delight. Oh, that looks. Oh, I I need them. Oh. Oh, what happened here? News flash: The IPC will soon be dispatching representatives to multiple <laughs> worlds. This? The effort is part of a raft of new measures to encourage trade and strengthen friendship like throughout the, the cosmos. The Genius just, Society's newest masterpiece, just like Simulated Universe World the Eight, here. is about to go live. Madame Herta has revealed that the project is about to enter World the launch eight? phase. For further details, don't forget to tune in to our program's follow-up oh. reporting. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacony's Charmony Festival. Penacony! That is our next world, ne next world, right? Hi, hi guys, welcome, welcome to the stream. <gasps> Hello? What's this? Hello? Is this like Halloween version for Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> My name is Hua. Prepare for the haunting. Recent days, the Sienjo Lofu has reported oh. an uptick in supernatural activity, Ooh. with evil spirits wreaking havoc across multiple locations. The Ten Lords Commission has assured citizens that it is thoroughly investigating all incidents. Ooh, this this is... program will be bringing you the latest as the story unfolds. For more details, stay tuned for the upcoming oh, Haunted Sienjo okay. special program. Haunted Shenzhou. Beautiful creature. I just... Bless you for choosing to dally here. Allow me to ask you, <laughs> as a fellow what is entity this of the art universe, style? are oh, you God. acquainted with the goddess Sidrilla? Oh, man. <gasps> the, the trailer, guys. The trailer. Ooh. What is that? Another <gasps> anomaly in this shining universe. Since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. Oh! Oh my my! The beauty is eternal. Where do we go? We made it. What is that being? What is that? It looks like a dragon. Okay, now we go into like the, the event stuff. <laughs> oh god, this is oh this is I like this though. Yo, what's up? You're finally here. New characters. Should we start the ghost talk now? You can just call me. That tail is so freaking huge. Is this like a are that character is like spirit? It's a puppet. It's not the puppet. I I mean the. Ooh. Okay, this is this is kind of fire though. <laughs> Looks like visual novel commercial. <laughs> Guys, get oh. I, I'm in the way. Oh, I I just realized that. Um, <clears throat> get your code, guys. Get your code. Oh, I wonder if like if those red stuff like uh in the galaxies, because it, mm, it's kind of looks like fr out of from like dragon mouth. Hmm. So we're not going to Pinaconi yet. Oh, look at her! She's so cute! And it's not... Her tail is kinda... 
<laughs> Your tail is kinda kinda ghostly. No? <laughs> oh man. Ha huh. This and this Darkness falls across the delve as ghost fires dance. Oh, the clock strikes <laughs> twelve. <laughs> well, whether or not your world has a midnight hour. Hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace Media's Haunted Sienjo special program. <laughs> I'm your ghostly host with the most Albert. <laughs> For today's episode, okay, we've Albert. invited two special guests. Together, we'll be introducing you to the Sienjo's weirdest and most wonderful. Hi, everyone. Ooh. I'm the Galactic Ooh. Baseballer. <laughs> Speaking of weird and wonderful. <laughs> hey, guys. Grey Knife in here. It's an honor to be a guest on the 1.5 special program. Mm. Oh, uh, I mean, Albert's mm. Haunted Zienjo special program. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Albert, did you unlock a new skin? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Naturally, an anchor yeah, of my standing look at the needs top to have hat. the best wardrobe department in town. <laughs> now, as our audience will be well aware, the this Sienjo is, is constantly roaming the universe. And the universe is filled with the unknown. unknown. It should come as no surprise then that the La Fu has had its fair share of strange encounters. So and he's like speaking of strange, the trailer we just witnessed Evil gave spirit. us a sneak peek hmm. into a place of mystery, <laughs> evil, and ghost fire. <laughs> Fixtral Garden. Mm, I thought Fixtral Garden was just some old abandoned place on the Law Fu. Why is it suddenly getting so much attention? Allow me to explain. A while back, the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace was shattered. And the Heliobi trapped inside were able to escape. Know where they went to hide? Mm. Yep. Fixtral Garden. I see. Wait, what's a Heliobi? People say that the Heliobi are the result of accumulated grievances. Heliobi? They can possess people, deceive the senses, affect the soul, and usurp the flesh. Those possessed exhibit bizarre behavior and restless thoughts. So he's like, it's a truly huh. frightening spectacle. But the creation <laughs> furnace wasn't exactly fragile. How could it just break? Rumor has it, the Artisanship Commission's surveillance recorded a gray-haired figure in dark clothing. Huh? You mean gray hair? These dark clothing. Oh, gray. Oh, Did these. Did they have a baseball bat? Hey, don't pin this on me. The destruction of the creation furnace was a direct result of the Stellaron disaster. Right, Oliver? <laughs> Just tell us more about Fixtral Garden. <clears throat> Fixtral Ooh, Garden okay. has always been overflowing with yin Is this energy, going to, like... And the garden itself is littered with suppression towers. Like new area? Or like, um... Trees. Just it's creepy enough in the day. Maybe it for the when event the sun only. goes down... Things get a hmm. whole lot creepier. Ooh. The garden is layered and deceptive, and it's easy to lose your bearings. Since the Heliobi moved in, it's probably the most dangerous place on the La Fu. <laughs> Gosh, Heliobi are experts when it comes to possession, and even the most experienced Wraith you Wardens and Arumaton Spectral Envoys can become Ooh, their victims. My. When you can't tell your friend from your enemy, the new enemy is kind of kind of fire fast. though. If all that wasn't enough, they oh, say that Mara stricken members this. of the Ten Lords Commission also wander the garden. A word of advice? Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming material to me. I bet I could become the Cian Joe's number one streamer. In that uh, time. I forgot about <laughs> Gnaif and you Funny know you should mention always, to always most about people, the content. Fixtral Garden was always a strange and desolate place that hmm. rarely got much attention. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. Recently. The Sienjo's online forums have been filling up with posts describing supernatural phenomena in Fixtral Garden. 
<laughs> Everything from self-playing violins to the wailing cries of vengeful ghosts. Vengeful. Unsurprisingly, Cienjo fans of the supernatural are loving every second. Uh, in my experience, forums aren't exactly the most reliable news sources. Ugh, who cares if some of it's false? This is a hype train I can't afford to miss! Trailblazer, what do you think? Wanna start a ghost hunting squad with me? <sighs> Fire breathing, quiet band performances, headstands, Ooh, balancing acts, spear deflection, that. sword juggling, and boulder smashing. Weren't enough, huh? Now you're an expert in ghost hunting? Uh, who said I was an <laughs> expert? I just have a lot of transferable skills, that's all. <laughs> well, you better hope so. Speaking of which, in the brand new version 1.5 Trailblaze mm -hmm. Continuance, a foxy and tale of the hunted, the ghost hunting squad yeah, like, will be responsible for chasing I down Helio really more about her. purging evil, resolving crises, and protecting the Sienjo. A foxy and tale of the haunted is divided into five chapters Ooh. and starts off with the ghost hunting squad facing an unusual danger and Sojourner's ghastly her, reverie. Her Once this chapter ears, is complete, she's kinda... the story continues to unfold with twins, like percipient, a... sword essence, and oh. foxy and dream. Five hmm. chapters, huh? We'll be topping Sienjo internet searches in no time! See? <laughs> I knew we were on the same wavelength. In addition to Trailblaze Continuance, and together with Miss Gwen Knifen, Trailblazers will also be facing fixtural garden dangers in both Lafu Urban Legends and Ghost Hunting Squad missions. <laughs> Ghost Hunting Squad. I wonder who uh, will be in our and squad. I almost though. forgot to mention. During the Ghost Hunting Squad's Ooh. fixture exploration, Trailblazers can jointly manage Gwen Knight's socials. Posting threads is a great oh. way to create discussion among Zienjo netizens and fans of the supernatural. Oh, I can't wait! We're gonna get oh. the whole Zienjo talking! Seriously, oh. this is once There's... in a lifetime material! <laughs> we gotta plug it for everything it's got! I'm talking There's daily updates, community ganga. engagement, all that good stuff! Once you get enough momentum, the fan base grows itself. <laughs> Social media stardom is finally on the horizon. <laughs> oh, oh okay. I see what we're going There's to do here. Room for creative talents at the IBM. And Interesting. I don't want to do my own horn or anything, but I've been introduced a lot of big names in the company. <laughs> the Albert stamp of approval goes a long way. Aw, mm. thanks, Albert. I'm afraid I'm too invested in the CN Joe for now, though. Good to know there's an offer on the table. Well, it's cool. I get it. <laughs> but uh, here's my card if you ever want to collab. <laughs> Just give me a shout. Deal. Now, where were we? Oh, socials. Ooh. Increasing your account's popularity level allows Ooh. you to unlock more stories the, and events. Your ghost design. hunting skills will only improve as you unlock more suppression towers and take on new challenges. Not to mention, by completing limited time missions, Trailblazers can obtain the event light cone, hey, over here. Not. What do you think, Guilings? Let's give it up the for Guilings' generosity. Woo! <sighs> Still, I hope the ghost hunting squad is up to the job. Sounds like we'll have a lot on our plate. Don't worry. You might just be getting a helping hand from one of the Sienjo's most formidable forces, the Ten Lords Commission. They're the judges of the Mara Struck, the arbiters of life and death. When it comes to warding off evil and expelling the supernatural, mm -hmm. nobody does it like the Ten Lords. But despite their reputation, they're shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. Whoa! The Ten Lords are getting involved? Just when I thought our stream couldn't get any crazier! Well, before you get too excited, <laughs> Just... I'd spend some time getting to know your assignment. The Ten Lords have dispatched a trainee judge to assist the ghost hunting squad in investigating the fixture garden situation. Trainee, hmm. huh? Uh, as long as they're confident in their abilities. Yeah, about that. Ooh, the transition. Oh, it is a new character that will that we can get. I mean, that we can get in this patch. Oh, look at her. <laughs> I wonder if she's a zombie because there's a talisman everywhere. 
Ooh. What was a wind type character following the path of abundance? Oh. The trainee judge of the Ten Lords Commission. <gasps> She's a freaking Wait, five star. Fire. Those are the spookiest looking flames I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, she Does a... being on fire help Four with star. ghost hunting? What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. Just beginning to doubt her credentials. How did this little girl become a judge in the first place? Good question. <laughs> Wawa hmm. is essentially a magnet for evil. Something that comes Abundance. in super handy for the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> they couldn't believe their is luck. Is it just Sounds like... qualified. Of course. Ooh. Talent comes in all spirit, shapes and sizes. Maybe? The key is to bring the best out of everyone. Oh, she's so Still, scared. To her, mm. what was unique skill set oh, wow. isn't exactly a oh, blessing. Oh. People say she has the worst luck on the CN show. Always mm. running into ghosts, tripping over thin air, you know the deal. Well, if I spent my life running into ghosts, I'd probably fall over a lot too. I remember one of my oh god, I just had the same something. problem. Lucky for her, one of my sponsors Please. sells this amazing remedy that can and be And we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> anyway, I only told you half the story. Bad luck, evil attraction, call mm. it what you like. It all started from a single unfortunate event. Oh? When Hua Hua was a little younger, her tail was possessed by a monstrous long life species. Oh. Any guesses? Yep. It was a helio bus. That very same day, the Ten Lords Commission decided to seal the monster in its hiding place and took Hua Hua under their wing. Ah, I get it. So Hua oh. Hua is kind of like a, a Ten Lords guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> I think Herta had a similar fate planned for me. Oh, God, that may have been However, the Ten Lords realized that Hua Hua had the ability to pacify the monster. Naturally, hmm. anyone able to wield the power of a Helio bus was seen as a potential weapon of war. But she's just a baby! How could a scared little foxy and girl ever take on the responsibilities of the Ten Lords? Oh, Hua Hua's well aware she just scared a cat. That's why she watches so many horror Mercia to train her courage. <laughs> I guess you could call that fighting fear with fear. <laughs> yeah, you're all weak, y'all. <laughs> if that actually worked, I'd have joined the Stellaron Hunters already. I was wondering aside, how the tail what was willingness to confront her shortcomings is a true possessed. sign of professionalism. Not to mention, having spent possessed? more than a few huh. years in the company of a Heliobus, she's had to develop her own tricks for banishing evil. Hmm. What was basic attack? Ooh. Banner Stormcaller can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, kind of looks like her tail is the one making the decisions. <clears throat> <laughs> when using her skill, <laughs> Talisman Protection, Hua Hua bravely brandishes her banner, restoring HP to a single ally and adjacent teammates. Are you sure she's Ooh. not trying to surrender? <laughs> Hua Hua's <laughs> ultimate tail spiritual oh, domination can regenerate I mean, allies' energy myself. and increase their attack. Well, so that's what a Heliobus looks like. No Gee. wonder it took the Ten Lords Commission to seal it away. When under the influence of her tail, Hua Hua has a few special talents. After using her skill, she receives Sacrifice Life. Sacrifice Life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the beginning of their respective turns or when they use their ultimate. Nice! Not bad for a trainee, huh? This ghost hunting squad's gonna kick butt! Mm, that's not all. Hua Hua's technique, Fiend Impeachment of Evil, sends oh. her enemies into a horror-struck state and scatters them in oh. all directions. When attacking a horror-struck enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. Oh, scaring nice. away okay. your enemies. <laughs> nice moves, Hua Hua. Still not getting judge vibes, though. Hey, easy on the training. Don't of worry, course, huh? When you're dealing with oh, Heliobi, the more judges, the better. That's why the Ten Lords appointed a seasoned veteran to bring up the rear. I'm talking about none other than Hanya. Hanya? Oh. Ooh. Who's her? Oh. Don't tell me, uh, another freaking five star? Hanya is a netherworld judge oh, of the Ten star. Lords full Commission. Star. She's a physical type character, following the path of harmony. Ah, I remember that face. 
uh, I saw mm. her on the Return to Darkness light cone. Mm, correct mundo. <laughs> Rumor has it, she's one of two sisters oh, dedicated dear. to the work she's... of the Ten Lords. She's responsible for predicting karmic she's... offenses she's and fire. recording corresponding judgments. Or to be more precise, Hanya reads the karmic sins of criminals and uses her oracle brush to record their punishments. She's good at her job and takes it super seriously. In the Ten Lords Commission, her reputation precedes her. I really like the chains, Sounds though. like a Ten Lord celebrity. She put in the hours, that's for sure. In order to determine their sins, Hanya reads the memories of the Mara struck in the form of dreams. Cool. Oh. Sounds like our ghost hunting squad just found its guiding light. No offense, Hua Hua, but those sound like credentials. <laughs> hey. Enough with the hua hua bullying. <laughs> but speaking of credentials, it's time to see what Hanya can do on the battlefield. During her okay. basic attack, Hanya oracle uses brush. her oracle brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a Ooh, single target. These, she really lives by the sick. pen is mightier than the sword, huh? The one with the fan. <laughs> um, Gosh, I'll get my coat. <laughs> In addition to dealing this physical one. damage to a single target, Hanya's Ooh. skills, Samsara Lot, can inflict them with a burdened state. Ooh, is that Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing? Pretty much. Allies inflict increased damage on enemies marked with burden. Ooh. And if that wasn't enough, after an ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden, they recover a skill point. When the going gets oh tough, gosh, she Hanya's looks so got your beautiful. Ball. Hanya's ultimate, Ten Lords Decree. All shall obey, Ooh. can increase speed and attack for a single ally. When Hanya uses her technique during exploration, she, was another she five immediately star. launches an attack and inflicts burden on a Ooh, random that looks enemy. So freaking when cool. the enemy won't budge, call in the judge. All that aside, in version 1.5, oh, the new, new stagnant shadow, Shape of Perdition, will appear within the fictional garden map on the Sienjo Lafu. Complete huh. the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. So this is going Within to be like new map, area. We'll also be welcoming Cavern of Relic Corrosion, Ra Path oh. of Darkness. Complete the challenge. Sick. To two brand is this new like a must too? Prisoner in deconfinement and Grand Duke incinerated to ashes. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that just about brings us to the final sections of our Haunted Sien Joe special program. Huh? Already? Oh, this program isn't nearly haunted enough for my liking. <laughs> Where are all the ghost stories? You know, beautiful foxy and spirits knocking on your door at midnight. That beautiful? Kind of I think you're thinking of a different program. Moving swiftly on to some exciting updates. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, y'all, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the following commercials. <laughs> Get your coats, guys. Hey, you there. Sick and tired of the daily grind? Had enough of running errands? Do you long for rapturous applause and cheering voices? How oh. about increased self-confidence and a sense of pride? What's this? We have an opportunity for you! The oh. Border Town Martial Exhibition is now open for registration! Put yourself oh. to the test by challenging the best! This event will once again be hosted they, by Scott uh, They Business bring Alliance. it back? Scott Business Ooh. Alliance, made for the nice. champions. Okay. In order to bring our audience a brand new experience, this event will be adopting a simultaneous exhibition format. Use your fist to prove your worth. Enter, I am the Ooh. ultimate fighter. <laughs> this is Register <laughs> your name. It's kind of, it's kind of goofy, Boulder not Town's gonna lie. New fighting star. Boulder Town, super lead. Martial exhibition. Ooh, what, what is that? Ooh. A stellar Shadow Seeker okay. recruitment announcement. March 7th, member of the Nameless has put out a cordial invitation for anyone able to restore her photographs to the way she remembers them. The images oh. in question were inexplicably damaged. I lost all kinds of cool pictures. Beautiful oh, scenery, oh. strange encounters, you name it. There's a big reward for anyone that can oh, help me restore cute. the images. 
Actions speak louder than words. Miss Sh Sh March's Sh memories Sh are in your hands. Ooh. Madam Herda of the Genius Jeez, Society there's so many is about to events. launch unlimited beta testing for the newly developed oh, Simulated eight. Universe mm -hmm. World 8. Participants will have their costs covered and progress saved for future iterations. In order to participate in this offline confidential beta test, please head to the most mysterious place in the universe, Herda's office. Mm. Test participants will be rewarded with a brand new Patagonia you Land of the Dreams and Ferment Frontline Glamour Planer Ornament. It looks like what eyeball. Ugh. Get tested. <laughs> I don't know why it looks Good like news. an eyeball. The Planer Fisher and Gardener Plenty events are about Hello, to begin. Andy. It's the version you know and love. Let mm. the computer do the hard work for three minutes and get your hands on double rewards together with our Genty. I haven't One even must played explore the, the essence of beauty the to appreciate the depth of chivalry. <laughs> yes, it is I, your beloved avian servant. Welcome to Inner Astral Peace Media's second special program, Legend of Cosmic Beauty. In today's program, we will be introducing a new friend of the universe. Yo, how's my favorite audience doing? <laughs> Legend of Cosmic We've hardly beauty. been gone, and Albert here has already had another wardrobe change. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't get the memo, but we're about to be discussing a night of impeccable elegance. <laughs> uh, it's, it's time, time to guys. <laughs> so, I, I cannot. Without further oh, ado, man. allow <laughs> me work. to introduce a member of the Knights of Beauty. Argenti! Hmm. Argenti! Oh, baby! The spirit is looking so freaking beautiful! Oh! The thorns! <gasps> so freaking cool! Argenti is a physical type character following ah. the path of erudition! As a devoted admirer of a drill of the beauty, Argenti hmm. spends his life roaming the universe and extolling their name. Ah, so the simulated universe occurrences Curio, Robe of the Beauty, and Erudition. Knights of Beauty to the rescue. Huh. They're obviously related okay. to the knights, right? Running into the Knights of Beauty while testing the simulated universe is always a blessing. Those guys are a lifeline in a tight spot. Especially when I can't get enough path resonance. <laughs> Treating people with courtesy, helping others as a matter of principle, and offering sincere praise to all things in the you universe. You know, I wonder if we will get Such other is the code of conduct that our night of by. beauty in the in future the too. Universe. Not every helping hand is benevolent, but those provided by the knights are beyond question. Oh, there's something. May the names of our gentry and the beauty. Be blessed for all eternity. Uh, speaking of which, Albert, what was that Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty commercial all about? Well, Argenti magnanimously answered our call and agreed to appear Where in our commercial use that music? as a corporate ambassador. Oh, and I know they forgot our end of the bargain. <clears throat> the IPM acknowledges that Idrilla the Beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. <sighs> Albert, <laughs> what did you get yourself into now? No need to worry. <laughs> Just a little two-way back scratching. Um, okay. Kind of TMI. But I still don't really understand the concept of the beauty. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Adrilla's beauty permeates everything. Take Argenti, for example. From his daily armor cleaning routine to his constant grace. Wait, I just all realized of stems Albert. from his pursuit. Of the beauty. Yes, Elegance is Argenti's <laughs> middle name and he even manifests close. itself in his combat. Ooh. Argenti's basic attack, oh. fleeting fragrance, can deal physical damage to a single target. His skill, just as hereby blooms, can deal physical damage to all enemies. Ooh, nice. nice! Man, I wish I looked that elegant in combat. <laughs> Argenti's <laughs> ultimate is pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy consumed. Such is the manifold beauty of a driller. When consuming a small amount of energy, Argenti's ultimate, for in this garden supreme beauty bestows, mm. can deal damage to all enemies. When consuming all energy, Argenti's ultimate becomes merit Mary. bestowed in my garden, which Jeez. deals greater damage. 
It also inflicts additional damage on a random target. Huh? So you can choose how much energy to release? Mm, that's oh, not all. the glowing. Oh, so the, the, the glowing can armor. Can allow our Genji to regenerate additional energy and obtain Sublime a stack of self cultivation. Self cultivation can increase our Genji's crit rate. Oh, oh so geez. the more self cultivation, the fiercer his attacks. Or uh, to, to, to put it another way, uh -huh. our Genji needs to attack as many enemies as possible. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger mm. his combat. Exactly! Stronger nice. combat, faster energy regeneration, Ooh. more enemies to attack. Argenti giving erudition vibes. I'm here for it. <laughs> Argenti's technique, manifesto of purest virtue, can daze enemies within a set range. Dazed enemies are unable to launch attacks. Oh, Attacking daze a dazed me. enemy to enter combat <laughs> not only deals damage to all enemies, but also regenerates Argenti's energy. Woo! Argenti is kind of handsome. <laughs> I'm feeling a little dazed myself. Oh, <laughs> same, Trailblazer. Same. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's true. That our Genty fans are oh, in for a fatal surprise in version 1.5. In Night of Universal Hallucinations, Trailblazers will encounter our Genty en route to a washtopia. Uh, wait a second. A wash of what now? <laughs> I shower every day. Slow wash. down there, Trailblazer. Have you never asked yourself how the Astral Express stays so clean and shiny? Uh, because. Pom poms Pom -pom? always cleaning up after us? Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's because the train stops at Wastopia's along its journey. Wastopia's specialize in cleaning interstellar craft. A train? You know, they're all kinds wash? Of in the universe? Antibacteria. <laughs> We're getting off topic. All you need to know <laughs> is that the encounter with Argenti oh, is one man. of excitement and wonder. <laughs> and a little bird tells me. He's set for a showdown with the entire crew. Mm. I don't get it. Why yeah, are we always we either in a fight or on the way the, to one? A the, fight, you say? <laughs> Far too the poor train, to turn. So... What you meant huh. to say was a chivalrous display of gentlemanly fortitude. Yeah, like a car wash for trains. Argenti in only the, challenges uh, in the those galaxy. who he deeply respects. Ah, in the space. you mean that the illustrious galactic baseballer's reputation doth precede one? Oh, uh, <laughs> sure. Anyway, with the driller's blessing, let's move straight on to the version 1.5 warp events. Mm. Uh, finally! First off, during the first phase of version 1.5 in the character Ooh. Event Warp, Bloom and Gloom, Trailblazers yeah, can do. obtain the limited five-star character Hua Yours, my favorite scaredy cat trainee judge! During the second phase of version 1.5, we'll be welcoming two character Event Warps in Thorns of Scented Crown. Trailblazers mm. can obtain the limited five-star character Argenti! Ah, our knight in shining armor! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Contract Zero, the familiar mm -hmm. face of Silver Wolf will be joining the war. Not to mention the four-star character nice. Hanya, who will be appearing in both the aforementioned second phase character Ooh. event warps. Ah, long time no see, Silver Wolf. <laughs> uh, I hope I can. Uh, I wonder if I, hope I win the 50-50 for Argentine. You want to ask her the next time you see her? <laughs> you first. <laughs> now. It's time to take a look at version 1.5's light cones. In the first phase of version 1.5, the drop rate for the Night five star flight. light cone, Night of Fright, will be boosted. Oh, with the, While in with the, the second race. phase of version 1.5, the five star light cone, oh. an instance before games, will enter the light cone oh. event world. At the same time, the drop rate for the Whose five star light that? cone, Incessant Rain, will be boosted. Guys, oh, it's actually my hand. <laughs> <laughs> the train My is hand about reaching to for Argenti. <laughs> and here's some other cool stuff. Starting from 1.5 within the team selection and character ascension screens, every character will have they brand like new voice this lines. This is a different kind of arena. Ooh. Ooh. Again, is that good or bad? Ah, oh. Is that Bobo's ascension line? Ah, so cute. <laughs> uh, wait. If a character's already fully ascended, nice, can we still hear their line? We got you covered. All audio lines get mm -hmm. saved in the index. You can yep. listen back at any time. Here's something else. Oh. In version 1.5, we'll also be seeing a guest book feature update. If Trailblazers are ever curious oh. to check which friends have visited the Express, 
The guest book has a record and message oh, from each visit. Oh, <laughs> nice. Such a neat idea. Additionally, the Forgotten okay. Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. First up, hmm? in Forgotten Hall Combat, Trailblazers can now choose to re-challenge. Re-challenge? It's like this. If things aren't going too smooth when challenging a certain stage, Trailblazers can choose to return to the Forgotten Hall map and restart the challenge. When re-challenging, previously used technique points are replenished. A oh. chance to replan your maze technique strategy, perhaps. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I almost forgot to mention, stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage doesn't mean you have to redo the first half. Whew, that is oh, a relief. Oh, that's, that's huge. Okay, hall, thank goodness. Your combat lineup right. for each stage is now remembered, regardless of whether you met with victory or defeat. Your hmm. previous lineup will be waiting for you on the preparation screen. Hmm. No need for manual selection. Now that's my <laughs> kind of update. Nice, Can't nice. Can't wait for Trailblazers to give it all a spin. The Forgotten Hall is an important system within the game. Updates will continue to be rolled out, so stay tuned for future versions. Well, looks like it's time for our final redemption code. See you on the other side, Trailblazers. Nice. Get your coats, chat. Get your coats. We have four minutes and thirty minutes left. <laughs> have to do like you don't have to you don't have to do it all over again oh. so did you guys did you guys like um want to pull for anyone in this patch before her i wonder if she, when she will be out <laughs> hey folks I'm back. <laughs> Me too. Me three. <laughs> Good to see you again, Trailblazers. You're just in time to help us wrap up version 1.5 special program. Mm -hmm. uh, is it that time already? I was just getting started. Be my guest, Trailblazer. This owl is ready to flap. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, Albert? I'm pretty sure you didn't mention the thing. Thing? What thing? Oh, <gasps> the thing. Yeah. That the thing. thing? Yeah. Winky, winky. Gift of Odyssey. Mm, 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 <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> In version 1.5, Trailblazers can get their hands on 10 warps nice. through the check in event. There it is. Nice. Yeah. Gotta love a check in event. <laughs> mm, mm, and that's mm. not the only thing to love in version 1.5. Oh. Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy, guys? You had me at Ghost Hunting Squad. I am so ready for a spooky stream. <laughs> Sign me up. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Huo Huo's tail backstory, Hanya's Ten Lords expertise, and Argenti's mysterious search for the beauty. Mm. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in person. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> and with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. Goodbye! <laughs> Thank you for supporting the IBL. <laughs> see you in the next one! <laughs> see ya! Bye-bye! <laughs> Thank you.